Hello everybody, my name is Skiadad Nadayan and I am 8 years old and today I would like to explain a program called App Inventor. Now, App Inventor is made by MIT. So you just type in appinventor.mit and you'll get this program. App Inventor is a fun way of making apps. Unlike JavaScript, App Inventor, you don't have to type. There will be little blocks that you can connect together to make the code. Now I'm going to explain a little app I made called Click A Rama. If you see Click A Rama, this seems complex. It's actually very simple. If you go to the screen, I've named it Click A Rama and I set the background image to background of PNG. This is actually what you see right here, this part of it. That's my screen. Now, I got this from the Amazing One Rama website. And <clears throat> now I'm going to explain my horizontal arrangement, which I got from Layout. If I can show you, it's right here. Not a scroll arrangement, a horizontal. Not a horizontal scroll. So, I wanted to make the background color cayenne, and the height and the width are automatic. And I want this to be visible with no image. Now I got a label from the user interface. What's a label? Well, a label is a name for a text. For example, hits is a label. See, I named this hits label and the text is hits. So that's an example. Now to make the hits label, I can name it anything I want. I named this one hits label and I took the font size to 20. If you see here the height and the width, and the text I put it to hits, and after that I put a semicolon if you see. Then I got another label, and I named it a hits count label. Same thing, only the text is a zero. And I put these two in the horizontal arrangement. And then I put another one, but only instead of in the hits, it's a hit. I just want to name this one misses. The misses count label says zero and like zero and the horizontal arrangement is the same as the first one. Now I took out a little button here called a reset button. Now I'm going to take this one but what seems weird. See this one is oval shaped but this one's rectangular shaped. Why is that? If you look here <clears throat> The shape here is an oval, but if you come over here, the shape here is default. If I just set this to oval, you'll get an oval shape. But this one's extra one for me, so I don't really need it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a text box from here and the user interface. And with my text box, I don't want to... I don't really want to type in anything. You see this text box? I don't want to type in something. I just want to keep it empty. Now, if you see here, something funny is that I already have a text box, but it's not showing. If I go down, you'll see this over here. The title is, see, the title is visible like that for the screen and if I go to the text box there's no title but it, it this thing is not visible why is that if I click this I'll see it if I click it again I will see it now let's go to the canvas the canvas I had the same background font size is 14.0 if you see the width and the height 300 pixels and the width is a fill parent. And the line width is 2.0, the paint color is black and all that. But remember, the canvas is visible. And I get the canvas from drawing and animation. And now I'm going to get a little image sprite. If you see this one, I named it Rama. 
What happens if I take it outside of my canvas? This is what happens. See, I don't see it anymore. But if I put it inside the canvas, I do see it. Like this one is. Now I'm going to make this rum as picture none, but the height and the width is 150 pixels, and the interval is 100. Now the X, Y, Z doesn't really matter right now. It will only matter in the code. Because it just says how 3D it is and where the thing is. Now, we have a little Rama clock. If you see, I'm going to go to the sensors. I get a clock and I put it. I set the timer interval to 1,000. Now, why do I want a Rama clock? That's a good question. A Rama clock is used for me in this program because I want to make sure that they'll keep changing in the right amount of time, in this given amount of time. Now, I'm going to take a sound from media, media, or media, and then I'm going to make it noise. I'm going to rename it. And then the MS is 500, but I don't have a source. Now I'm going to take another clock, and instead I'm going to make it 200. And then I have a text-to-speech. It helps with the text box. It makes sure the, spit, the pitch is correct. The speech is a good type. And the country is correct, and the language is a good is our language, right? There's a bunch of languages you can put here. Now, what I'm gonna do is um, that is basically it. And if you see here, I have a bunch of Ramas, one, two, twelve, along with the background. Now we're gonna click blocks and. I'm just going to quickly arrange them, so blocks by category. So here you see this code looks hard. I'm going to start with easy and simple code. Let's say, let's start with the starting the code. So what happens with starting the code? Well, I'm going to say, when screen one dot initialize, I'm gonna call this function. A function is like a little a bunch a uh, a bunch of code blocks combined in one block that you wanna use a lot of times. More than once more than once. So you but you don't wanna do it all over again. And uh, also for the timer, I'm going to say when rama clock dot timer, when the time's up, I'm going to call move rama, and <clears throat> that is some of the basic parts of this. And then I'm going to say that when I have move rama, what is this move rama we're talking about? Move rama is a function that makes the ramas keep on moving. So I'm, I made a little variable here called global frames. If you see this, I set its text to zero. Now I'm going to take a random integer from 1 to 12, meaning I'm going to take a random number from 1 to 12. And then I'm going to set the Rama picture from one of those numbers. But only remember, the numbers are images 1 to 12. Now I'm going to set them to... I'm joining this with um, a Rama plus a .png file, so that this way it's gonna know that it's Rama.png. Now I'm gonna make the Rama move to the X is a ran. Uh, remember X is left to right, or Y is up up and down. So I'm gonna set the X to a random integer from zero to the canvas width minus the Rama's width. Now, what that means is, say that I'm in a room, right, and that room has an amount of space, and I have a spot, and then say that a new person comes into my room, they can't take my spot, and they can't be out of my room, but they can still have the space to be within my room, but not in my spot. And that's what it's saying. It can it can be anywhere in the canvas, but not in the 
not in one of the Rama's spots. And I'm doing the same thing with the Y. And that is my little thingy there. And the reset button, remember that little button we made an oval? Well, when that is clicked, I'm going to set the hits count label text to zero and the misses count label text to zero. I want to reset the score. Now, if I keep going, I'll see in my canvas. If my canvas gets touched, any spray in the canvas gets touched, then if one of the sprays get touched, say, well, I'm saying all the bad guys, if they get touched, then I'm going to make the misses one. But if all the good guys get touched, most, most of the good guys get touched, then the hits count label will be more than, will be one more. But, here are the main ones. Rama 11 is actually one Rama. So if I hit one Rama, it's going to make the hits count label 50 more. And it's going to make a noise in this ring of vibrate 10 milliseconds. And it's going to call it text to speech. So it's going to say something using the text box. And the text box is going to say, Wonder Rama bonus. And so I'll get 50 points. And then if I get the Scholar Rama, it will do the same thing, but only instead of giving you a point, it will reset the score like we did in the reset one. The reset button. And instead of saying Wonder Rama bonus, it will say, oops, you're dead, reset the score, and it will restart. And if I don't hit any Ramas, and I hit it within the canvas just on the screen, then I'm going to make the Mrs. Count label text to more than the previous number. I'm going to make it more than one. So, <clears throat> that is the Wonder Rama app. So I'm going to explain how to set the app up. So I told you how to get App Inventor last time. Download App Inventor on your phone. Then you see here, click Connect, AI Companion, and there will be a little code. There will be two buttons. You can click Scan QR Code, or you can just type it in. And then you click Connect with Code, and then whatever program you have, whatever program you, you made, it will give it to you. And thanks, that is the full story. Test it and have fun. Enjoy! Thanks! Bye!